right, guys, welcome to the third video in the CXC exam countdown series that we're doing based on section C or narrative writing. So today we're going to look at creating the beginning of the story. And we want to grab our readers from the get go. We want to start our stories with a bang. And we want to ensure that our readers are engaged and we get the maximum marks that we need to get in order to get a one in the exam. And so guys, what we're going to do today is that we're going to quickly run through and then we will have some discussions, have some conversations. If you have not seen parts one and two, this is the part that you stop, go back. The playlist is in the description bar below. Go back, watch parts one and two, and then continue to part three. All right, let's begin. This always happens, guys. This always happens. I don't know why. Okay, it's here. <laughs> Write in the introduction of your story. I think we said this in parts one and two, but repetition, repetition, I say repetition, repetition is a good thing. And so you can begin your story in two simple ways. You can describe the setting, begin with a description of the setting, or you can present and describe your character. Or if you're, you're awesome like that, you can do both. So, I want to give you a simple formula that you can follow so that you have all the different aspects of your story presented, all right? So let's go. And by the way, guys, if you're not familiar with what is setting, what it means, go back to video two. That was explained in video two. Now, describing setting. In writing your story, you must describe your setting vividly. And when we talk about the word vivid, we mean very lifelike, true to life, you know, very much with as much details as possible. And so it means that in this area of the story, you need to pull on your descriptive writing. You need to include descriptive, descriptive elements. Therefore, we will see sensory details coming out. And let me give you an example. The night was cold, dark, and dangerous. The wind howled in my name and the trees danced as I walked down the street. Notice, and if you looked at um, video two, you would have seen a similar thing that was done there. We saw the use of our adjectives. We saw... The fact that the trees were howling, kind of wolf-like, kind of uh, aggressive. We saw that they danced and we saw that it was a windy night. You know, it was very cold. So all of these things coming out. So we see the use of description. So you need to use your descriptions as a tool. So you're going to be like, so miss, what if I am not good at description? What if I'm not the best writer ever? It does not mean that it is impossible for you. It means that you need to be very technical in your approach. You mean, need to be very personal purposeful in your approach. Guys, I'm getting tongue twisted. Sorry about that. You need to be very purposeful in your approach. So it means that you will have to, one, think, okay, where's my story going to take place? All right. It's, in a, it's, it's at home. Okay, at home. Am I in a room or am I outside the house or am I in the living room? Where at home will my story be okay I'm going to be in my room all right in your room is it cold is it dark is it hot is it and you start thinking about these things is it that the walls are brightly colored is it that the walls are dark and is it that the walls are dingy 
Where in my room am I? What does it look like? Do I have a window? Don't I have a window? And you start, I know it seems like a lot, but that is why I say you need to be very purposeful and very intent with your description. If you are a person who to you, this is so hard, it's too much, I can't do it, CXC is asking me, for too much. It's not impossible. It just means that you need to dig a little deeper to provide more. Now, I want to go back a little bit and I want to remind you the description of your setting does not have to be long and drawn out. It does not have to be like that. And I'm going to give you some words that you can possibly use when you're describing your setting. I'm coming up to that. Now, when we look at our characters, talk about setting, I will quickly, guys, this lesson is a quick one. Quickly going to jump to characters, then we're going to tie it all up. When we talk about characters and describing our characters, you need to look at how many characters you're going to look, include. You know, they're very important to the story you use them to develop your story but most importantly they have to be believable and your characters is somewhat linked to your plot so is it that you're going to have a cold heartless killer is it that you're going to have a broken hearted girl because you know her boyfriend decided to cheat on her and the list go guys my brain is out there so you have to decide based on your plot what it is or who it is you're going to create or create as a character that's i hope that makes sense and so based on what it is you're trying to convey in your events what kind of person would be the best person to portray this kind of plot and then you create that kind of character on the note of characters being believable we need to also remember that um, you have to write show how the characters look what are their features do they have dark beautiful jet black kinky hair do they have golden brown eyes luscious lips um planted their nose was planted you know on their face or and so when we talk about how they look you can also create characters that are not necessarily Caucasian looking characters. They're characters that look like you or somebody you know, you know, and or if you want to create characters that are very Caucasian looking, no problem. But remember that you have to show what the characters look like you know and remember that how they look should be in line with what they're portraying their personalities all of these things now we are moving on to let's go again guys this is just playing with me fabulous now when we what are some of the words that we can use we look at some super adjectives when we talk about people objects feelings size and time and time size objects you know those things can be used to add to setting and when we talk about people we talk about um things that words that can be used to describe how the person is feeling you know the type of person they are as i said today's lesson is going to be a lot shorter 
than previous lessons. And so what I want you to do in the comment section below, in few words, just quickly create a setting or quickly create a description of a character in as few words and let us have a discussion below. So we're going to create those things quickly below in as, you know, and let us see how we go and we can make suggestions to each other and we can have some fun with it. So I didn't want to give you everything. I want you also to give and let the discussion continue in the comment section below. We're going to finish off this series in the next video and then we're going to see if we can do some writing together. So, you know, we're, we're coming out, we're coming out, we're coming out. I'm very excited. So come back for the next video and remember to like, to comment, to subscribe and to tick that little bell because I've been hearing that if you don't tick the bell, click on the bell to receive notifications. You might not know when one of my videos are posted. And remember, once you subscribe, the video will come up in your feed as soon as we post a new video. So happy exam prep, guys. I will see you tomorrow.